All right, so Danny and I, say hello. Hey. We are on our way to show you how to find good deals and what to look for at the Goodwill, Value Village, secondhand stores, and how to pick up some sweet, just secondhand stuff, right? Yep, how you can fill out your hobby and your aquariums on the good deals that you can find and the random stuff. I've been able to find very specific hobby-related stuff and stuff that just works well with the hobby. Keep your eyes on the road. And fish room. <laughs> <laughs> All right, your turn. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to sneak the camera in. Hopefully we don't get caught. I'm not exactly sure what their policies are, but I feel it's better to just do it and then ask for forgiveness than to ask and then have them say no. And then we definitely can't film. So we're on our way, stay tuned, and we'll show you what we find. Right. We are back. We're back. Value Village was closing in like 10 minutes, so we didn't get much time there. We definitely ran through, but we found a couple good things um, definitely at the Goodwill and some good ideas at Value Village for sure. So, first yeah, and foremost, I'm standing in the light. Should we probably start with the. There. We, we use this as our bag. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, I wanted to get this because I think. This is around 12 gallons and it makes a really good quarantine tank. Mm -hmm. People always say, I don't have a quarantine tank. Get yourself a bin or even one of these. But this was what, like a two bucks or something? Yeah, three dollars. Perfect quarantine container. Quarantine container or it can even be for storage for all of your fish supplies. So many different uses, obviously, with storage bins. And I bought the dustpan for myself. Yes, dustpan. Because you go to Home Depot, dustpans are like $5. There they were a dollar. Every fish room needs a dustpan. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, and I actually have definitely had my fair share of these over. I tend to break them Goodwill. a lot, so I need them. That's what I was going to say, my fair share between Goodwill and Dollar Store. <laughs> Uh, we found a couple lights. A this really one, nice reptile light. The reptile light, um, the nice ceramic reptile light. And so maybe Bob will use this one in his fish room for some of his new builds. Paladariums or something. Paladariums. We got this light here. We got this one here. And Wait, how much? People are going to want to know. Oh, how this much is that one? one? Two ninety nine. Yeah, those are the ceramic ones are like eight bucks. So pretty good score. That's a good score. And this guy can find it. I think that was like four dollars if I remember right. Yes. Oh there it is. It was five dollars. Five dollars. Four ninety nine. But as you can see it's on a little nano tank there and it works just perfect. Nano tank it has one of those clips and most Goodwill's value villages will actually put their electronic section on a wall with outlets or power strips and you can test it out there and make sure it works. Sometimes I bring expert shopper tip bring uh, spare light bulbs and batteries to test different things before you buy them. Now I think we have to address the deconstruction of the tent <laughs> real quick because people are going to wonder what happened to the tent. It's uh, it, it's slightly in its deconstruction mode. I also really like it like this. I, I do this I every now too. and again uh, especially over the summer. It stays warm in here still even in the fall. Oop, lights are going out. I'll have to turn those Timers. back on. Timers. Um, it stays warm in here and during the summer it got really warm so actually for large periods of time I had the walls unzipped and I recently had to move some of the plumbing up here to start converting over to the fish shed so yeah, the new fish room yes so I had to take that top off and I figured I'd let it hang like this again one last time it one gives you a little bit time. more room you get tear tear last time last one yeah okay what else do we got okay back to it um, what look, is? Look, fish room towels, cheap. Yeah, see what we scored in the towel section. <laughs> Never know what you're gonna find. An aquarium co-op towel. How lucky is that? And I think the price on this was like 50 cents. I think they just gave it to us. <laughs> that is definitely a deal. These are, these are definitely worth more than 50 cents. <laughs> yeah, never know what you're gonna find. We're gonna put I like to go to the Goodwill. Right there. One of my favorite things to find is like work uniforms. Like I got a Best Buy shirt once and then you just walk in wearing the shirt. Actually, this was, this is my favorite flannel. And I got this at the Goodwill. Yes, there I did. There you go. Yes, I did. 
All right, now that, that what I'm most excited about. Yes. You're picking up now, both of them. We These are amazing. Some of the best books. So the Complete Aquarium. Is this the one that we looked up online? No, this one sells for over $200 on Amazon, and that one was like $4, and that one was like $2. Yes, super cheap. These I think ones, the hardback was four, and the paperback was two. The nice thing about the books is they don't individually price them in a lot of cases. They put the prices by the style of books. Large, small, hard back, soft back, you know. It's kind of nice. So you there were some, some other ones too, but these are definitely, these are like staples in the hobby. So. We found some great ones. We even found some like pond related. Um, there was one pond, there was, well it was koi. Koi, but it had pond but stuff it. But it did have pond stuff Yes. In. If it was an actual pond book, I would have bought it, but koi. Search through it, find the gold. <laughs> koi. <laughs> and so, okay, so all these things, we got the two lights, the two books, you got that. We found the bin, we found a couple more things there. We didn't get a lot of video because yeah, so. Music uh, in the store, plus, you know, we're not necessarily supposed to be filming. And we're made. We got hit with copyright, so that's why we yeah. time lapsed shopping in the store. But you'll see some other things that we got some great ideas that maybe we didn't purchase. In a lot of cases, I was looking for a few specific things, but I've also been hitting up the store for a while now, so I'm pretty stocked up. Yeah, it was up. pretty, she pretty much already cleaned it out. So. I've, I've cleaned house, but <laughs> we got some great ideas. So all that stuff. Bob spent $21.79. Which is a pretty good score. Not bad. Now it was a little light, so you're gonna show us some other stuff that you got at the Goodwill. So yeah, so and I- And one of my second, besides the books, that right behind you yes. is like an ultimate score for me. <laughs> I love these things. Obviously with my fish tent scenario, I was looking for ways to upgrade. These all started out as quarantines to go into the bigger tanks and then they expanded and became little nanos. But most of these I've gotten at the Goodwill uh, or Value Village. And I look for the largest ones I can find as much horizontal swimming space, especially for the betas. And they definitely deserve an upgrade here. But if you can find a nice water volume, like I found a lot of three gallon bowls that were sold as punch bowls with cups in them. Um, these are absolutely great. This is a three gallon, I, I bring them home and I measure. Uh, in a lot of cases, people will turn these into the Goodwill or Value Village because they leak. And these spigots in particular, because they're like a plastic covered in a fake metal enamel. I actually purchased off of Amazon uh, the food grade, um, BPA free, spigots and I replace them. I take these out. So this one hasn't been replaced yet. It also doesn't leak. So you can chance it, but I don't typically like to. They also, that metal can flake off after time. Um, so I no, I go for the no metal ones, the BPA free food grade ones. Um, that they use for like kombucha jars and stuff like that. And, and it's three gallons, but I mean, you could do, and yeah. it is vertical. But I mean, you could skate this with shrimp. Shrimp, yep, like I've got another one rasboras. in there with shrimp in it, just like this. I put a little bit of pre-filter sponge on the inside and with the right spigot, you can actually do water changes right out of it with no worries. I've also seen people, like when they set these up, like this is the front. Yes. And then they paint like the back black or something. So yeah. a lot of cool stuff you can do. Yeah, and, and you don't have to use the lid, obviously, if it in, in a more aquarium environment. But I've also used these to do like terrariums and enclosed kind of more rainforest style ferns. Or you could find the right clip on light that just fits right. The right, yes. This was a Goodwill find as well. I, I've scored a few of these metal clip on lights for this. Uh, this actually is stand I purchased at the Goodwill. So I love the furniture section. Do you remember how much it was? I think this one was about Product placement. <laughs> yeah, I'm overflowing with food right now, but I love this stuff. Um, I think this was honestly really a good score. I want to say it was about $14.99. Wow. But I looked it up and these originally sold for $49.99. It's like a drafting computer table, but I use it. Uh, primarily, I started using it um, for scaping my nano bowls. I would set there them up go. here and it was close and it was standing height. And then it became kind of like my drop center. It's where I store my food caddy most days, but for now, just And display. the food caddy is this guy right here. And you can see this in our top $10 store video that I'll link yes. right 
here somewhere. Yes. <laughs> and over the years of my fish hobby, this has evolved. It gets bigger as time goes on, and I need well, to I need to expand yet again. Uh, but they have so many different versions of this at the dollar store and the Goodwill in Value Village. I found and some between both places. This drawer right here. Storage. I've got a small space here in the garage that I'm trying to pack a lot of a very There's big no, fish like, hobby. There's no like in here, are there? No. It, this drawer is a bit okay. of a mess because I got a score <laughs> off of OfferUp, so it's all the random stuff. So. But I saw one of these. Don't mean to interrupt. But these one. They had one of these with the three, the same size. Yep. And I was almost going to get it, but I didn't, and it was six dollars. So that's just to give people an idea. That's a pretty good deal. This now one this one really has cheap. the. Uh, okay, interrupt you again. <laughs> this one has the fancy <laughs> faux pas Basket cover. <laughs> yeah, you know that's custom built. I definitely, you know, I try to go for ones that, you know, you can be, you can clean it up. You don't have to go for one that's in perfect condition. But I look for one that's going to work with my aesthetic. I found baskets at the Goodwill or Value Village that coordinated with something else. If it worked in my fish room, would still look good and I could get it for a good deal. I'm all for it. Like these drawers um, too? And this one, you know, it's not perfect. It actually came broken like that, but you know what? The function is perfect for me. I have everything kind of ready and I'm all about a space for everything. My bins and bins on bins, but I, this was originally all I had for storage with a few buckets on the side and my hobby's grown, but and stuff I like this is those, priceless. I use those for isopods. Cultures. Yeah, you can, cultures, this could be food storage. There's so many uses, but storage options at the Goodwill, for sure, there's a ton. I actually got this at the Goodwill. I think this is kind of like, kind of like a, it's a food tray to serve me dinner on. Tray of some sort. <laughs> but after I sanitize and clean plants or take the rock wool off and stuff like that, I'll lay them out here. And this is what I'll bring oh, up to a tank. That actually is pretty cool. An aquascape. And so it, it allows the water to fall through without the plants to go through. Fancy. And then I just dump the water out afterwards. Does it get floor. all over? Because I have tanks in the house where there's carpet. So that was where this originated from. Um, and part of that uh, is the mess that comes along with like towels, the need for towels. So I've gotten towels from the Goodwill uh, for the fish hobby, brand new towels even, uh, coming with a tag for just two, three, four, five bucks. And then I found this laundry bin. <laughs> <laughs> for wet towels. Yep. Does and it this smell? Smell it. Smell it. It doesn't smell actually. Because oh. it's so warm in here, and I've got a that few, makes it worse. few tricks of the trade. <laughs> I use a, I leave like um, fabric softener oh, in, yeah. in drawers and closets and stuff like that. Helps keep things from getting that that closet stale yeah, smell. That's what I put in my underwear. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but this one's cool because I can literally tote it oh. all the way to the laundry room. <laughs> it's like a luggage rack. Yep. So I have the fish hobby gets its own set of towels and its own laundry run through the, the laundry room. There you go. Well, I think that's a pretty good list. Yeah, I've got of tons stuff. of stuff. Even little trinkets, you know, stuff that's in these drawers and bins that's from the dollar Probably store. Probably lots of planters you can find. Tons of planters. A lot of my planters. I always go for their terracotta ones, and it's hard to tell right now because most of them are in the house, but I like to find planters that will work with each other. So I have lots of like white or off-white planters, kind of like this one back here. And more terracotta. Yeah. All right, well, thanks for coming along on this adventure. I wish we could have filmed more in the store, but we could not. Yeah. But some Someday maybe we'll get some more footage. We could do it again. I definitely am always making runs as an ever-expanding list of needs in the fish room continue, but. And the, uh, other, the other hard part was the music for copyright and yeah. then the mass. It was hard for the mics to pick up. It was and, fun to group too. Yeah. <laughs> there was some grooving, as you saw. <laughs> yes. All right. Well, thanks everyone for watching. And what should they do? Like, subscribe, comment. All right. See ya. Bye, guys. Who packed? It was all in there and closed <laughs> fine. I know, I dug through it. <laughs> Are we rolling? Yeah. We're rolling. Just waiting for you to be ready. No, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs>